be discussing on how to disassemble and reassemble the motor so that we can check the bearing and replace it when needed. I have here an electric motor 9 leads out and sort of tools needed like bearing puller, hammer, screwdriver, prying tools, puncher, marker, socket wrench, impact driver, and a multimeter. Some motors don't have bearings on the nameplate, then you need to disassemble it to lock the number on the bearing. First thing first, we make sure that the place is clean. We all have the tools and materials that needed for the job. Let's get started and help me out. First thing we're gonna do, we will make a marker on both ends of the motor. Double check. Next, we need to remove all these four bolts. We need to spray a little bit. The other side has already been removed. I will use this one. We need to remove first the wire so that no one will hold the cover of the motor. Anyway, I already marked this one. When you are going to disassemble your motor, mark the terminal of the motor. We're going to take the wires. Okay, it's already removed. Remove the rotor and sit aside and check the winding. The winding is still okay. I just need to replace the bearing. The number of the bearing is 6203Z in SK. Then after that, we're going to use the puller. We already removed the bearing of the motor, then we're going to replace it with new one. Then use the wood. Make sure that it is flush. It's not yet flush, we need a little bit more. Now it's flash. Put back the stator and put the rotor in. So this is the good thing if we have marker. You see here the mark? One, one, I put the other side, two on the other side so that you will not get confused. Number two, number two, we need to put back the cable. After that, we need to whack a little bit. After we work it, we do like this. Mm. 